Please, it's key, let you key. That your spanning in all sorts, which is not all in that all ish. That's part of who we are as young people. Being in, in Indian education or Navajo education, I always saw a need for more professionals in the STEM field. You don't see too many engineers or too many mathematicians or IT people, and that's a, a tremendous need for Navajo. So, and then I thought, why don't we do those programs here at NTU and that we focus on STEM programs. NTU is the first tribal college to have uh, engineering programs. Uh, our president actually was, uh, he made the decision that NTU was going to be a four-year engineering institution. All the other tribal colleges that pursued engineering uh, did pre-engineering, so two-year programs. And so that was a big, important decision. This university uh, is one of uh, about 35 uh, tribal colleges. And tribal colleges are distinctive in that they're on uh, tribal nations and their purpose is to serve the members of that tribe. What this impact in my life here with my five years after graduation is, I didn't expect to have this knowledge of hands-on. So I did really learn a lot about these past years. And this would also impact with the Navajo Nation to improve like engineers. Of course, we do need engineers here. By producing Navajo engineers and, and ultimately Navajo PhD engineers that can be the experts that represent the Navajo Nation. Uh, right now, like for uh, our highways, our power, our water, all those things, there's just not enough uh, Navajo engineers. I do like my studies here. My program is in electrical engineering. And so I do like studying there, like the fundamentals and the experience that I gained there helped me or in robotics and uh, electrical circuitry. And so all of this is incorporated in my future endeavors, which is to seek a master's in electrical engineering. If you look around in the background, we have all the gadgets at a bachelor's level. We're learning how to work these machines. I never knew what a caliper was. I didn't know what the maker machine was. I didn't know 3D modeling, and that's incorporated here. They incorporate a lot of the hands-on, and that's one of the reasons why I do like the school here, and I like the way it, it's taught here. It's different. I chose to come to NTU because it's close to home. Um, cost of getting an education is a lot cheaper going to, rather than going to a big university in New Mexico. Navajo Tech is addressing uh, various disadvantages uh, of the Navajo people through education. Uh, being remote and not having industry close by, uh, Navajo Tech is trying to train the next generation workforce to be able to attract industry and grow industry on the Navajo Nation. The more engineers we have, the more people that are able to go out and create things and, and develop new um, items that help us in our lives. We'll create more businesses. They'll, they'll be able to bring back. Even if they go work someplace else, they'll be able to come back uh, later on because uh, usually now those, we want to come back home. It's important for this uh, university to exist because it gives an advantage to all tribal members that want to continue on their education, but they have a fallback of of not knowing where to go or what next step they, to take. And I believe this school has really helped a lot of um, tribal members and not just with the Navajo Nation, but other tribes around the Navajo Nation. You know, like I said, we're still the only uh, tribal college with uh, ABET accredited engineering. We became the first uh, tribal college uh, just recently that we're gonna be starting the first PhD program. And in January, we're gonna start the first Master of Science in Electrical Engineering program at a tribal college. After that will be a PhD in Electrical Engineering. And so, because it's important for us to be able to make Navajo engineering faculty, because we want faculty that can inspire other, you know, Navajo children to, to say that, yeah, I, I can be an engineer. I do want to continue to work within the Navajo Nation, and it doesn't matter what I continue to do, but programming is something I really love doing, and 
To be able to teach it will be something I would be fascinated with too as well. And the next um, five, 10 years, so you'll probably have here at NTU more graduate degrees. For Navajo Nation, if you have that capacity to offer uh, graduate degrees, and you know, soon we're gonna have a, a PhD degree here. And so there's really no need for Navajo people to go anywhere else. Uh, they can get everything here. And that's going to be reasonable in price for them, closer to home. There's a lot of advantages in doing that. And it's just a matter of us develop those capacities. And we want to keep our people home.